So I want to talk about something that is really serious, and I think a lot of people kind of tune out oftentimes when they hear about this, but there is the chance that we may lose all of the Florida Keys reef tract this summer. So if you've been to the Keys, you know the beautiful corals that are there. It has yeah, been degraded over the colors. past couple of decades. But when you get a heat wave like this, unprecedented, we've never seen anything like this, it can go like that, and it is. The, the dominoes are dropping very quickly in the Keys right now. I just got off the phone with Noah, and there are efforts underway to just try to get the genomes, the genes, so that in case we lose these coral, we have a way to replace them yeah. if we can. So I want to show you, by looking at this map, exactly how hot the water is there. And, and take a look. Look at the wide view. Look at how hot it is in the Gulf of Mexico and in the Florida Keys. Let's zoom in. Last night, there was one particular place right near Key Largo, which had a water temperature of 101. Lots of caveats. The water is dark and silty there. It's measured five feet below the surface. The water doesn't mix around a lot there. It's not clear water because it's dark. It absorbs more radiation. That's the reason why it got so hot. Still, it got that hot. There were two other buoys that registered around 99 degrees as well. So it is not an anomaly. This is an example of what's happening right now in the Keys. It was taken the end of last week. But like I said, I was on the phone with Noah. They say there are no reefs right now in the Florida Keys that are untouched. They're bleaching a lot of mortality. They're not gone yet. But if this heat persists for weeks and weeks more, it's going to be really, really tough situation uh, by the end of the summer. It's already an alarming situation.